Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. On day three I made some progress. I decided to use a Raspberry Pi instead of a mobile phone for the access point and it took me some time to get that working but I did and it worked great. Then I decided it would be a good idea to try and replace the front Wemos and use the Pi to control the front lights and to indirectly by Wi-Fi control the rear lights as well and that worked really well. Although I had to rewrite the script in Python, I really enjoyed that, and it had some extra advantages because the Pi can use multi-threading. So I used threading in Python to be able to control both front and rear turn signals at exactly the same time, which was pretty cool. I was pretty pleased about that. So that's got rid of the front WEMOS and it's got rid of my mobile phone hotspot. The Pi is now working as a hotspot. Obviously I've checked and this does work on a Pi Zero W2. So I've been developing it on a Pi 3 but I will be moving it over to a Pi Zero W. The other thing that happened on day 3 is this arrived. I was showing the system to my neighbour the other day and he rides a motorbike and he said that what happens on a motorbike is that you have a switch where if you press left it indicates left until you cancel it and the same for right so I thought I wonder if there's anything around I found this one on eBay and it has exactly the right number of buttons I wanted four buttons so you've got left and right you've got one here for full headlights and brake lights that's a latching switch and you've got another one here for off and if you hold it a medium length of time it puts the tail lights on and also if you hold it for about three seconds it will shut down the Pi so that's really really useful and that works I got that working on day three as well this was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv thank you for watching